Stadium. Very uh -huh. yeah, cold and windy. Listen to the game on the radio. You know it. <laughs> hey, you're playing us today. Yeah. We gonna win. I know you. I know y'all are gonna win. We should. Y'all should win. You know why? Because our defense has more leaks than the White House. I know that. It should be. Cincinnati where the Bengals face the Steelers, a team the Bengals lost to week one at home with Jamar Chase. The That's Steelers right. then yep. went on to lose Joe Burrow done through five interceptions. Their next seven games, but we'll get to them in a minute. Joe Burrow in that game, the week one game, threw five interceptions. Yeah. Twice. It's funny. But we were told it was the next Justin Tucker. I heard that. He missed the game-winning extra point as blocked. Let's be fair. But he did miss the game-winning field goal. And, of course, the Bengals, yeah, Bengals went on to lose that game by yeah, three points, 23 to 20. Yeah. It took 10 weeks and three days. But in Wednesday's press conference, Burrow indicated that now he's healthier than he was then. Okay. Okay. He said I won't throw Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you fired up, aren't you? <laughs> is he healthier? Well, Burrow had his appendix removed on July 26th. Really? And I guess according okay. to him, so did a bunch of other 48 people. 48 days or six or seven weeks is not a sufficient recovery time. Now, I don't know 
if you're willing to trust the source as shady as WebMD, or do you trust them? I do trust WebMD, Me too. Sometimes. <laughs> uh, is what those serial fabricators had to say about appendix recovery. Once you've had an appendectomy, you'll probably recover pretty quickly. It feels good to get a bad appendix out. Most patients leave the hospital one to two days after surgery. The good news is you'll be able to go back to all your normal activities within two to four weeks. So you're saying... Oh yeah, like throwing five excuse. interceptions? It's a horrible excuse. Yeah. like top five medical conditions easier to recover from than an appendectomy. Here we go. What's here? Number five, hangnail. Oh, I know, man. I hate oh, hang. God. I thought I'd hang down in the in having that to me, but continue. Number four, pimple. Now, oh. if you get one of those on your what? nose, yeah, I got one. Yeah, if you have one now, about ten years ago, one started there. And if you look close, I look like witchy boots. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, mosquito bite. What? Oh, Joe. All these worse than an appendectomy. Number two, <laughs> accidentally biting your tongue. What? Yeah. For your cheek. I was eating and I was so hungry the other yeah, day, I bit my you. finger. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that Another does hurt. Hitting yeah. your funny bone. Hey. Oh, oh, that, that one just Pittsburgh. makes you laugh. Right, Michael, we'll go to Pittsburgh next uh, because one of these two teams is going to lose. Yeah, well, one's going to win. Unless Pittsburgh. Close, I'm calling it uh, now. The line in the game is kind of nuts. The are giving. Pittsburgh sucks. Six and a half points. And this is with yeah. the Steelers winning the first game, yeah, with the, the game being played in Pittsburgh, boys. with the Bengals yeah. being without their best wide receiver, Philly. and in spite of the Bengals being winless in, divi in the division. A whole touchdown, right? Seems disrespectful to me. With the Steelers coming off a convincing win in their last game against the Saints. Oh, God, the Saints are bad. We know them as well as y'all know the Steelers. They do have uh, their best player returning in TJ Watt. He was only oh, whatever. the defensive player of the year, but I guess the odds makers aren't thrilled with the, what they see on the other side of the ball. You know, we've talked about Kenny Pickett. What do we say about him? Tiny hands. Tiny hands. And we've <laughs> talked about the career QBR of Mitchell Trubisky. We were talking about the downward trajectory of Najee Harris. Let's talk today about the Steelers' offensive line. Well, last week in a win, mind you, yeah, kind of bad. In a game that the Steelers never trailed, uh, so you basically run the ball the entire game. Najee, they ran it 43 times in this game. Kenny Pickett was sacked six times. It's not good for a young no, no, And the Saints good. aren't that good. It's been the eighth worst in the league in declining. Huh. Nothing better than having a rookie quarterback terrified in the pocket. <laughs> wow. Ask Sam Darnold how that went. Anyway, the Cincinnati team that was 29th in the league at getting to the quarterback. Yeah. That's who they played today. The quarterback, of course, Pittsburgh can't stop from getting into the quarterback. The resistible force beats the move. Can't stop an ejaculation, our defense. Like my top You're five right, things. Right. Yeah, we can. For the Steelers' offensive line. Okay. Less force. Yep. These are my top, oh, top five things. More <laughs> They're five like, things oh yeah, we're gonna get to the quarterback, and then you can do oh, about yeah. it. Less force. Uh, yeah. My oldest T-shirt. Less force than the Pittsburgh Steelers offensive line. That's right. Okay. okay. Number four. Ow. A pasta strainer. Wow. There's a lot of holes Number in that. Number three, a fishing net. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> number two, pantyhose. And number one, Crocs. Cleveland, where fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, we won't get fooled again. The Cleveland Browns, fresh off an absolute dismantling of division rival Cincinnati, had 13 days of rest. Yeah. And a chance to right. turn the season around, hosting the Miami Dolphins. Well, oh, whatever. they didn't. Of they course they did. By 22 points, and are now three and six, tied with Pittsburgh for the division's worst record. But have no fear, the 23 million dollar man has returned to practice and is scheduled to play not this game, the molested but this man, game, but the following week, December fourth, against his old team, the Houston Texans. But you know what will that team? That's look what my like podcast calls him, the, the uh, molested today, man. They play okay. the Buffalo Bills. No, he's you know, playing Cole, against Houston. Have one of the league's best rosters. And are coming off back to back losses the following week. Coming against Tampa Yeah, he went to Cleveland, but he's playing against Houston. Uh, 
Uh, there's a good chance yeah. that Watson oh, yeah, uh, will have to win down. every single game he plays <laughs> in so order for the Browns. Me neither, dude. Season. Actually, well, it was like during it. COVID. He had him in, a, in, in his home, but still, it's the same stuff. This one is money. that they'll have nothing to play for than something to play for. And that doesn't even factor in that Lamar is 5-1 and one It was a rub and tug. In games he started, he yeah. finished. Should be fun. And that's all things AFC North. <laughs> I mean, I can't stand the Browns. They went, they went around our stadium in week one, barking like a bunch of dogs, <laughs> acting like animals. <laughs> they were doing that on the way back to our uh, light rail, and I was telling them, I said, y'all know that there's no dogs other than service dogs allowed on the train, right? Uh, we'll find out. Maryland did very well though in our last drawing, 1.3 million. That ain't a lot of money in California though. Wow. Yeah, Two million so is still ain't a lot of money in California. And, uh, there were prices ranging from four to one million dollars, including. You're not going to be living comfortably for that long. Fifty thousand. Jeez. Yeah. And I had a conversation with a friend of mine. I said. He said, I'm going to buy my ticket here. I said, man, they've never sold a winning ticket there. He's like, that's right. That's why I'm going yeah. in there, right? That's, the way it <laughs> yeah. that's smart. So, you just can't tell. He's got to just you throw it in. Your odds are, yeah, of course, 292 million to one. Uh, so uh, they don't really change based on where you, where you go. Uh, you know, there's a first every time. Maryland has only actually won the jackpot three times. So, uh, so yeah. Yeah, it, 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 we're, we're waiting for a first time. Well, that's not that encouraging. <laughs> Now, if you're down here on Ravens Walk, or if you're uh, hopping around to your local, uh, uh, you know, convenience store before the game, you want to look for our Ravens scratch off tickets. Still, lots of top prizes out there. Uh, there are two of our twenty thousand dollar top prizes left oh. on the two dollar game. Six of our one hundred thousand dollar top prizes left on. Just our tried to win that. Exactly, you, you did. You did. It came very close. <laughs> I did. Here's what I did. <laughs> what am I, what am Just I like the Panthers three? are going to come today. And I scratched off. I, I got a three yeah. for a hundred dollars, and I realized I had to scratch off. Keep scratching was 33. Oh, oh, and yeah. Eddie Murray in there. So, right. this is why we want to talk about second chances to win. Uh, uh, we've got our, uh, our, our uh, Ravens walk crew down there. Uh, they are talking about the uh, tickets while they're down there, passing out some great stuff. Very cold out here. And there are second chances to win on this scratch off ticket. So, if you don't win, you can register your ticket online with our rewards program. Our very next one won the Ravens scratch off ticket. That's your final chance to win a spot to take the field. New Year's Day. Play? No, I'm yeah, just yeah. going to be honest. Be honest. For, our, for our New Year's Day matchup, it's pass for cash, chance to win. You win $5,000 for being picked, plus you have a chance to win more when you take the field. And, of course, the adulation from 73000 Yes, I've there. seen that. I believe yes. hosted by Scott Reardon. Am I right about that? The famous Scott That's Reardon. That's right, yes. We're talking to Doug Lloyd, Maryland Lottery. When the year flips over, are there some new games that come with the new year, or do, is it quarterly or whatever you feel like. So we, yeah, every every month we basically have a group of uh, new scratch-off tickets that debut, and right now we're talking about holiday scratch-off tickets. We've got a second chance that runs all the way through the beginning of the year. Yeah. If you got those holiday scratch-off tickets, they do make good gifts, and uh, it's a nice way to cope with the holiday season, too. So if you're out there, grab some for yourself. You can register online. You have a cumulative second chance. That means if you register once, you're in for all of our drawings through January, and uh, at the very end, we can give away five prizes of $25,000. And if somebody stuffs your stocking with a $100,000 ticket, you better give them some kickback. For, you know, for the holidays, if you win, Doug, we got to go, but we'll do it again next week. Sounds good. Guys, Doug. if you're playing lottery out there, or if you're going to try that sports gaming that might be happening this week, of course, do it responsibly. Nice. All right, there it is, mdlottery.com. Here's more 98 Rock Ravens game day presented by GEHA. Still more to come. What, Daddy? Uh, I couldn't find my uh, what's back scratcher. The, what's the thing? Ball itcher. No. Morning. DraftKings Sportsbook is coming soon to Maryland. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and sign up with code FLOCK to receive $200 in free bets on launch day after registering. Plus, we're giving five customers a $100,000 free bet on launch day. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook. <laughs> Do what? 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 Do what?
his free back. Yeah, which is necessary I mean, for some states. Yeah, I guess he's got a best way. Yeah. 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 You know, in Washington, D.C., the whole lane would have honked at him. You ready for some yeah, good way. Right. You know what, Daddy? Those things that you always run into on the side of the road. Damn e-scooters? Yeah. Yeah, the break one in half. They're, they're annoying. You should have seen that. I'm not kidding you. He's on the left. He'll cut in front of the cab. The cab is moving. Just be like, didn't see him there. That's what I would do. Yeah. I was saying, that if that happened to me, I'd be like, oh, didn't see him there. They all have one thing in common. They never back off from a challenge. Available with all wheel drive. The Honda SUV lineup has the it kind of seems different than DC driving in the car. Like a lot different That's than DC. America's most loved auto brand. New From being so close. Daily. See your local Honda dealer today. 2021 American Customer Satisfaction Index ACSI survey of customers rating the performance of their own automobiles. At the University of Baltimore, you'll get more than a college degree. You'll be immersed into oh, wow. a community of impact where you'll be inspired to make a difference, where your passions will fuel your purpose, and where our city will be your classroom. Because at U-Bolt, we combine a career-focused education with a strong sense of civic engagement to meet the challenges of today's world. What you learn here will prepare you to go anywhere. Learn more at uvault.edu. Todd is in the way. I've never felt this way before. And he's about to find out that yeah. sometimes when you chase after love. I'm kind of by a There are so many ambulances that go by our hotel in D.C. It's like it's the police in New York and the ambulances in Washington. What? Featuring a powerful performance by Nissan Rogue. Oh, come on, come on. Damn. Damn. Thank you so much. 